Hey guys, it's Neanderthal Gaming. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I have something special today. Uh, I have with me the brand new Steam controller, and I wanted to do my first unboxing video ever. Uh, so hopefully this goes well, and let's get started. Alright, so we have here my phone set up very jerry-rigged. Uh, I don't have an actual camera, uh, but I have my scissors, and I have my Steam controller. And it looks very cool. The box, the box, I mean, here we go. Here's the, uh, the sheath on the outside. Nothing special there, but this box that it's in, it's like a, it's like a, here, I'll hold it closer. You can see that. It's like a nice shoe box of some kind. It's got the little controller there. It's got the Steam logo right there. And, uh, yeah, it's like a really nice shoe box kind of box, which is impressive. Uh, so I pre-ordered this a while ago, and, uh, today finally came. Super excited. Oh, wow. And here we are. I'll do a little, I'll do a little opening here. Here it is. Very impressively packaged. I like this, uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So here we go, we have the controller itself. Feels pretty heavy already. I'm not sure if there's already batteries in it. Um, but I'm already liking the feel of it. Uh, I, I've used, I've used, uh, PlayStation controllers. I've used, um, Xbox controllers. Um, but I really like how this feels. It's, it's a, uh, it's an inverted design, so it's a, it curves up instead of down. Uh, so like, goes this way instead of this way, like a normal Xbox controller, which I don't have with me right now. But, so here we go. Uh, the box also comes with a USB. Uh, this is the adapter for the computer. It also comes with two AA batteries for the controller itself. And then this, uh, it says it's It's been dropped already. Well, it's not broken. Crash test, uh, crash test number one, it, it passed. Um, <laughs> this looks like some sort of... I have no idea what this is, um, but we'll find out with the directions, and that is it for the, the very cool box. I'm gonna keep this box, it's a really nice box. Uh, so here we have the quick start smart, smart guide, what is it? Quick start guide. Uh, so you take off the back, you put the batteries in, Ah, okay, so this is uh, an extender? Yeah, so you can put this directly into your computer, or as you can see here, in this middle one, you can uh, plug the cord in into the big black box and then put the adapter, the wireless adapter, into here. Which I'll probably try first, because um, this just has a micro USB in it, which I have plenty of those cords. And then this should light up, should it light up? It lights up or it'll just turn on by pushing that button. So, let's get this guy open. There's a little switch on the back here. It pops it right off. A little spring-loaded action there. Let's get these batteries open. Alright. And we go face down. And face down again. Let me pop this back in. I think that's good. And it beeps and the light comes on. All right, so here we have it in my hand. Uh, I'm holding the phone now. Um, so it's lit up. I'm assuming it's waiting for me to plug something, plug it into something, but uh, we have the D-pad here. Uh, very solid clicks. I like that. It uh, You actually have to push it down. Uh, and then on the touchpad side here, uh, it also is a D-pad with the same pressure, but it's also a trackpad, which I very much like. And then the buttons here, a little small for my liking, but you know what? Uh, those are easier to push, which I kind of like because these are the ones you use the most. Obviously, and then the the center button, which beeps again, if you heard that, and then select, and then the thumbstick. Good smooth, uh, it's more of an Xbox style of thumbstick, so you can see it's kind of, it's bigger. It's got a bigger thing, it doesn't have the depression in the middle, it's actually, uh, it sticks up in the middle, so it's like a dome. And then that's got a good, oh, and it does have a click, but uh, you do have to notice uh, that on the back, uh, it is hard to click the thumb pad down without clicking the back. 
if you're just holding it. Um, and then it's obviously got the, the cool thing about it, it's got the, the buttons in the back here. And then if I switch hands, it's got the same thing on this side. So while you're holding it, you can be using the touchpad and using these buttons here. And then the, the top has just got the regular, uh, oh, the bumpers, the bumpers are actually hard to click while the triggers are more hairpin. Like this isn't a click, but then there's also a click. So I'll try to visualize this better. So you've got the, the push down, which is just no click. And then you've also got the at the bottom so it's got the, the area before and then also that that click at the end so uh, I guess overall review so far is pretty darn good uh, the only thing I can notice so far is when holding it in one hand at least it's hard to click it's hard to click the um, the thumb stick down without clicking the, the back button on accident but you know what I think that'll be okay um, I am going to test it out and see how it does. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. All right, so after I was digging around, uh, it does come with a cord, so I did not see the cord. Uh, there is a little thing right here. It's got the cord in it. So on the back of the box, there is a cord that comes with. Uh, so that is it actually. Uh, so again, let's see if I can, yeah. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.